So real quick before we get into the video, my new UGC item just got approved. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is as this is kind of a one piece channel. But uh, yeah, if you have some free time, stop by, check it out. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, into the actual video. OK, so you read the title of this video. You know what this is. The creators of Shindo Life and obviously the rest of the OA Studios games are now setting their sights on a one piece game. Sorry if y'all heard that. That was my phone notification. But anyways, like I said, the creators or the career brothers are now working on a one piece game and this is good news for the most part it is good news i won't lie it's also a little bit of bad news but i'll get to that now real quick for those who don't know who the Kerr brothers are even though i literally don't know how you would not know who these developers are since they're probably some of the biggest if not the biggest anime creators i don't have the exact list of games they've worked on but if i go to their group Kerr brothers in groups i'm pretty sure i could see that yep here it is Kerr bros okay if you go to the owner i'm pretty sure this is like the main brother and if you go to his page you can see that underneath his favorites he now has a game here called rel seas and this is the new one piece game being created by the career brothers now today's video is really just me giving my opinion on this as i do believe i am one of the roblox one piece content creators so i do think that my opinion could you know be taken into account by some people and i'll be straight up with you guys i honestly don't know how to feel about this i do think that it's a good thing because the career brothers now have access to a lot of funding they don't need money so if they don't want to make a cash grab they don't have to that's the thing a reason why we get a lot of new anime games that we get and the quality that we get is largely due to the fact that a lot of developers really can't afford to make games of high quality that aren't cash grabs they use basic projects to fund themselves for more games in the future now girl brothers don't have to worry about that okay they already have a lot of money from every game especially shindo life but just judging off their past games i do really feel like the game is going to be you know more cash grab centered center on kids and i know i've said this in the past but i have no issue with that the thing is no matter how this one piece game turns out i truly do feel like the career brothers have mastered the formula of being able to keep players entertained i mean how long has it been since shindle life came out and right now the game is at 30,000 players casually this is probably the most active anime game on the entire platform i'm so serious shindle life is that hype except the only reason why people don't talk about shindle life as much anymore is because the game really just completely veered off of the course of what naruto was that's why it doesn't get as much hype but it's still insanely popular would i myself ever Ever touch Shindo Life again? Not unless they added in something insane. And they already do do stuff like that all the time. Like I checked the game's page the other day. They were adding in Gear 4 with Luffy from One Piece in a Naruto game. But anyways, though, moving on from the whole Shindo Life. The Kura Brothers, I think, are some great developers who have the potential to make good games. And I'm so serious when I say that. Shinobi Life 2 was probably their best Naruto game, in my opinion. I love that. If you go to YouTube right now and search up Sly Kage, Shinobi Life 2. I have so many videos on this two years ago. Wow, it's been long time but this game really helped boost my channel a lot i really adored this game shinobi life 2 was a, a great game an amazing game even but truthfully when shindo life came it just uh yeah it, i mean it, it killed it for me right here i made a video called shinobi life 2 just got deleted and in this video i pretty much basically just explained as to why i wouldn't be playing the game anymore and this was before the copyright strike but anyways yeah returning back to the whole one piece game made by the career brothers and all games I think that the game could either be really cool or really dull. And remember, this is only my preference, okay? I think the game could be cool if they make it like Shinobi Live 2 or something unique, something interesting. And not all of it is essentially a cash grab, or at least I hope that they adhere to One Piece. Now, obviously, I know that Shinobi Live 2 got copyrighted, and if not for the copyright, they wouldn't have moved it in the Shinobi Live direction. I know that. I understand. I get it. I'm not complaining. What I am saying, however, is that for this game, if they don't get copyrighted, I pray to God they don't ever veer off the course of One one Piece, please. If you're making a One Piece game, Curve Brothers, stay with One Piece. And I'm also hoping that this game is not made out to be a cash grab. I don't think it's going to be because if you go to Twitter right now and look at the Curve Brothers next post right here, they literally just tweeted Rel Seas. That's the name of the game. It is a Curve Brothers One Piece game. And all I really hope for this is that it's not a cash grab. That's literally it. They said right here we will have development movies as we did for Shinobi Life 2 and we'll drop two, three episodes. And I won't lie, these development movies they did for Shinobi Life were extremely high. If you want to get a game hyped up and excited, that is how you do it. They've mastered it with the Career Brothers YouTube channel. I mean, nearly 2 million subscribers, half a million views on every single video. The Career Brothers are hyped. The games are hyped. And I will be trying out Royal Seas. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give the game a chance. But if I hop in there and I eat the gum gum fruit and I start doing Rasengan's from Naruto, I'm going to cry. I'm literally going to cry. I think there's two ways in which this could go. The first way, of course, being I actually end up really liking the game the way I do with Shinobi Life 2. I adored that game. It was really fun. But there 
there is the second way that I'm fearing might happen where the game is turned into a cash grab. Like even right here, my boy Valakis, he just said, please make it actually enjoyable and not a cash farm because he knows the Career Brothers have the potential to make good games. They really genuinely could. But if they choose to be moving in the direction of being a cash grab, I don't know. Like right here, they have Snake Man Luffy in Shindelai. But anyways, uh, that's not the point. My only real thing is I just pray to God that they can make this game normal one piece. Like look at this right here. This dude said, bro, please make a one piece game. I mean, let me just say before I end this video, I think that the Career Brothers are some of the most talented, hardworking, and efficient developers on this platform. What they can do updating a game as weekly and as really just weekly, updating a game weekly is no easy feat. It's really not. Getting a game out in the first place isn't, but they managed to get a huge game out, overcome whatever adversity they were facing with the copyright stuff, and now they're profiting, which is cool. They're making a whole bunch of money, which is great. I'm really happy for them. But I, I just think that this game really just needs, for one, to be One Piece. It doesn't need anything else but One Piece. If you're making a One Piece game, please don't disrespect by putting Kamehameha's or Kamehameha's. I don't know. However you say it. Don't put that or Ichigo's Bankai from Leech or Koku... I, I don't know. Kokushifu Sword from Demon Slayer. Just leave it be. Please just leave it One Piece. I'm begging you as a One Piece fan. It would scar my soul if I hopped in game and I saw Executioner's Blade from Naruto. Like, don't use anything else from Shinobi Life 2 or Shino Life in this game. Just let it be. And the second thing is, don't make it a cash grab. Like, you can have some game passes like Deep Oak and Rogue Lineage. Please don't make another blocks roots or another gpo we don't want another one of those we already have blocks roots and gpo if we want to go back to those just make something cool something unique and anyways that's basically it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one let me know what you think about rel down below and uh yeah later have a good one guys